Hi, I'm Dr. James Wittig. I'm an orthopedic oncologist and sarcoma surgeon at Morristown Medical Center in New Jersey. I'm also the chairman of orthopedics at Morristown and the medical director of orthopedics, orthopedic oncology and sarcoma surgery through Atlantic Health System. I wanted to welcome everybody uh, today and um, thank you very much for this initiative to support sarcoma through the Sarcoma Foundation of America. This is an extremely important initiative. And I think as everybody probably knows is that sarcomas are an extremely rare type of cancer. Um, it's one of the rarest, there's only about 7,000 soft tissue sarcomas a year in the United States and probably about 1,500 bone sarcomas. And they can affect all ages. They affect children and adults um, and you may or may not know somebody who's been afflicted with a sarcoma, but it can be a very devastating and debilitating disease. And as you know it, funding is very scarce uh, for rare types of diseases. Therefore, initiatives like this sponsored by the Sarcoma Foundation of America are very, very important. So a little bit about sarcoma. Sarcomas uh, often go misdiagnosed or undiagnosed for a period of time. Therefore, it's very important to raise awareness about the potential for patients, your children, or relatives of having a sarcoma when they have pain in their arms and legs or um, have things that they think are muscle tears. Often sarcomas get misdiagnosed as growing pains in children, sports-related injuries in children and adults, torn muscles, hematomas. So there's a lot of, uh, because it's such a rare entity, it's, there's often, um, they go unnoticed or dismissed as being other more common types of, of problems. And it could delay diagnosis and treatment for a period of time, obviously not having a positive effect on the patient. There's many treatments that are now available and the majority of patients should really have uh, or really undergo limb sparing surgery. So nowadays with multimodal treatment with chemotherapy and radiation and receiving treatments before surgery, most patients can have their limbs spared. Probably 90 to 95% of patients can undergo a limb sparing surgery nowadays. And if anybody's told otherwise, they should really seek a second opinion. But this is always pr usually performed in conjunction with chemotherapy and radiation. Also, diagnosis is very important. Uh, the pathology and the radiology studies are, are very important in obtaining an accurate diagnosis. So there's a lot of funding that's needed for research and for educational purposes and for raising awareness so that we stomp out this disease as soon as possible. Okay, I wanna thank you all again for participating in this event and helping to raise funds for sarcoma research. Have a great day.